Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll look at two up and coming stars in the world of audio. When I think of Austria, I think of audio. I think of great audio. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, one of the greatest concert halls in the world. And the famous words of an Austrian actor. I'll be back. You know the one. And now the Lewitt 440 Pure, and also the Lewitt LCT 240 Pro. Let's put them to the test and see how they sound. Here is a microphone I'm really excited about trying out. This is the LCT 440 Pure. What I really like about the LCT 240 Pro is the price. You cannot beat the price for this quality of microphone. What's inside the box of the LCT 440 Pure? First of all, you get a quick start guide so you can get going straight away. A carry case, which is really nice with the Lewitt logo there on the front. Here you've got some accessories, so uh, really cool to see. A wristband is included. That's very, very cool indeed. This is supposed to be a magnetic pop filter, so I cannot wait to try this out and see how that sounds. You've also got the shock mount and also uh, one of the furry filters as well you can put over the top of the mic. But of course, this right here is the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure. Oh, all right, pretty exciting stuff. So here we go, we got the LCT240 Pro, which is a really reasonable price, especially if you're starting out recording a podcast uh, or something like that. Uh, also the LCT440 Pure, which is a bit more of a, a flagship style microphone. I'm gonna try that one after, but first of all, let's go ahead and open this one up and actually get it all hooked up and uh, ready to test out. So let's do this. First of all, attach it to a stable, sturdy stand using the mount. Oh yes, there is a mount there ready to use. Then connect it using a three pin XLR I have right there uh, and turn the phantom power on. That's important, 48 volt phantom power required. So you will need an audio interface with that. I'm gonna run it straight through my Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK desk, but that's it. It's not going through any processing. I'm gonna give you the raw audio. Okay, this is the Lewitt LCT240 Pro, and I've got to say, it sounds pretty amazing to start with. Considering the price of this microphone, I'm impressed. Cardioid pattern, so I can go from side to side, still pretty forgiving. I can look at you on camera, and although I go off mic a little bit, it's not that noticeable. Rear rejection around the back, and wow, that is some rear rejection, I've got to say. This condenser microphone with the cardioid pattern sounds awesome. The price it comes in at amazing. It's got a nice white pop to it. That might be for you if you're on YouTube or live streaming, or you might want to be a little more discreet with some of their black models. But I got to say, the LCT240 Pro is sounding really decent in my headphones right now. It looks like there's processing on there, but there's definitely none. This is a really cool sound. Okay, this is Mike speaking into the LCT440 Pure from Lewitt. I gotta say, this is good. Let's try the plosive test on this one with that magnetic pop filter. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's take this off. Zoop. Okay, you heard the little clanging of the metal there. Peter Piper, oh yes, picked a peck of pickled peppers. There's definitely more popping there, but not much, not much compared to other mics I've tested. Again, with this on. Whoop. There we go. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. That is impressive. Uh, now again, with a cardioid pattern on this LCT 440 Pure, over here, over here, yeah, pretty forgiving if I move from side to side. If I look at you to camera, again, I'm off mic, but only a little bit, which is really good. Rear rejection around the back, and that's pretty awesome rear rejection. I gotta say, my first impressions of Lewitt, both the LCT240 Pro and this one here, the LCT440 Pure, are really, really good. I mean, this is fantastic if you wanna get into podcasting, if you wanna use something on a YouTube channel, or particularly a live stream, you could put this over to the side like that, and you could be talking about a game, or you could be doing any kind of commentary. It still sounds reasonable when it's a fair distance from your mouth. Obviously, the closer you're gonna to be to it, uh, the better. Uh, but thank you, Lewitt. So much for being cool enough to sponsor this video and send me these two microphones uh, to try out. I'm really, really impressed with what I'm hearing. I would be interested to hear your comments as well, so let me know down below what you think of these Lewitt microphones. Um, they have a whole range of mics, so not just these two. Uh, there are some really tasty mics that I've seen on their website. I think it's the 940 that's a tube and FET microphone in one housing. Not only does it look cool, but the tube adds warmth while the FET gives a super clear and crispy sound. Lovely. This is just the start of my journey with Lewitt microphones, but I'm really, really liking what I hear, and I hope you do too.